Hi everybody, it's Alan from Automate Your Life and we are going to show you how to set up your curtains to open automatically with the SwitchBot curtain. Hey, open the curtains. Can you say open sesame? If you have a pair of SwitchBot curtains, that's great. Otherwise, this setup will still work for both curtain, two curtains or one. We're going to get you started anyways. Make sure that you open your box, check to see if there's nothing broken. Make sure that all your pieces are there. Make sure you have a good step ladder or a ladder. You're going to have to do a lot of your setup up on the curtain rod. And another thing to, is to see if you've got a transition on your curtain rod. This has nothing to do with switch box curtain, but it could affect how your switch box curtain rolls sideways. If your curtains already get caught, or the curtain rings get caught, or the grommets get caught, then this could be an issue. But there is a solution. One of the things that you can do is you can use a clear tape. By using the clear tape, you can kind of mask the transition, kind of bring it down a bit by bit. You can get this tape at any, actually it's hockey tape that I use for my shin pads. It's clear tape. The other option you can do is you can go to your local retail store and try to get a shower rod curtain um, cover. And you just place that on top to cover the transition and it should gradually help uh, increase and decrease the transition for the SwitchBot curtain and for your curtain rods. So let's get started. You're gonna need your SwitchBot app. Once you get your SwitchBot app open and you've got connected to a hub, you can start to add a device. We'll look for the SwitchBot curtain. Sometimes it's not gonna show up. So you have to pick the curtain device manually. Then it's gonna ask you to pair. You press the button on the back for about two seconds. You should see an LED light blinking. At that point, your device is ready to pair. But what you're going to need to do is look at the back of the SwitchBot device and there's going to be these springs and you're going to have to take those clips and clip it up. And this is going to help tighten the SwitchBot curtain to your curtain rod to make sure that there's a good fit and that it can roll side to side properly. So make sure you get those clips in there nice and easy. Uh, be gentle with it. It could break. Once you've got that all set up, then get up to your curtain you want to install the SwitchBot curtain device in between the first and second grommet of your curtain or in between the first and second curtain ring. If you need assistance, there are clips to help even out the curtain. All right, so you need to fit it in there. I took it apart because that was the easiest way to fit it. And you press on the button in the middle of the top clip and you push it down. You fit it in between the two holes and it should just easily slide through and you'll be able to get the compression that you need on the curtain rod. So then just push it down like so, get a good, make sure it's nice and tight. And then you'll have to, once you get it compressed there, you'll have to go back and just make sure that those clips that we talked about earlier are inserted back in its normal position and we can get started with a pairing. All right, once you got one of your SwitchBot curtains up, if you have a second one or you're doing a pair, get the other one up the same way. And the next step will be to pair the two devices or to pair it with the hub. So what you're gonna to need to do is you click pairing. It's gonna to try to connect to your device. You may have to go back up and reset the device by pressing the button on the back for two seconds. So go ahead and do that. Then you press next, it may take a few seconds, then you'll be able to change the name of your SwitchBot curtain. The default is either curtain or living room. I put mine in my family room, so I took the option to change it to family room curtain, and I changed it to family room curtain one. You could change the name. What's gonna happen is it's gonna group the curtains together. Once you got that name fixed, you can always change it at the end. Then the SwitchBot app will ask you if you have a curtain rod, or a U-rail. We have the curtain rod. So we're going to pick the grommet and then the SwitchBot app is going to get you to go through the video guide or the pictorial video guide. You can skip that, press open, set it up from open. This will prompt the SwitchBot app to pair the other curtain if you have one. If so, you move on and add another curtain. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go to the other curtain to pair that device, press the button on the back of the device and press next. Once we've done that, we can rename the curtain. In this case, I put family room curtain two, just to make it 
consistent with the family room and press next. You can set up the curtain's relative position based on how you named on your naming convention for both devices. In our case, as I face the curtain, family room curtain is on my left and the family room curtain two is on my right. Once you get that, you're going to go through the calibration process. Now this process takes a few minutes. It's going to ask you to open and close your device uh, on the left side and the right side a number of times. So basically go through the process to open and close. What you're going to have to do is press the left or the right button and then press pause when the track is going to have to stop. This is how the SwitchBot curtain counts the number of revolutions in order to go from left to right. Okay. We'll be doing this a number of times in order to calibrate it. Then it's going to ask you to go through the right side and also open and close a number of times. Once you complete this process, you just go to next. In this way, the SwitchBot curtain has now remembered how much travel time it's taken to go left to right for both curtains. So then the calibration process will go through the open and close for both curtains openings at the same time and closing at the same time. Now you can connect it to the Google Assistant. Go into your family room curtain settings, just clicking on the gear wheel, then click the cloud service tab and click Google Assistant. You'll give you the opportunity to connect. It'll take you to Google Home and you'll see the family room curtains down there on the bottom. However, for first time users or first time users for Google Home or the SwitchBot app, then what you're going to want to do is click the, the plus sign at the top of the app and then set up device and then go works with Google. And then you're going to have to search. I have it already on my phone, uh, the SwitchBot smart app already there, but you search for the SwitchBot smart and it'll show up there and then you will click on SwitchBot and then you will have to fill in your credentials for SwitchBot and then you'll be able to connect but we'll carry on as if we had the SwitchBot account and the Google account set up. So you're gonna find down at the bottom or your SwitchBot curtain down at the bottom as family room curtain. You can click that and you can rename it. Just click on the name and you can rename it to family room curtain. That way you can just say Google to just open up the family room curtains and it'll just open it up. And uh, then you'll have to pick the room that you want it in just to clarify. So you'll move the device to the family room or whatever, wherever room that uh, you have it in. Okay, I'll say device is moved and you can scroll up in Google Home. You'll find it there in the family room. And now your robot curtain is now connected to Google Assistant. So now you can use your voice to open up your curtains. And that's how you set up the SwitchBot curtain. Go ahead and watch the SwitchBot curtain unboxing here at Automate Your Life. Remember, don't hate, automate.